First up, we have the time he grounded into a 6-3 double play that forced Dansby Swanson to have to run a country mile to barely beat Brian Reynolds in a closer race to the bag at second than at first. There's only a couple guys that a play like this can be turned on, and Danny Burgers is one of them. Here's the time he got thrown out at home from pretty deep and right by Seiya Suzuki. Look at him shake his head as he departed from third. Even he knew that wasn't going to be pretty. This is definitely not the first time that's happened either, as here's three other times he was gunned out at home from a distance that convinced the third base coach that even Vogelbach could make it. First versus the Marlins, with Lewis Brinson gunning him down on a one-hop strike. Then Odubel Herrera throwing a high missile that JT Real Muto had to leap to catch, then apply the tag to an already sliding Vogelbach. He was declared out after a review. Now, how about a ground ball to short, with Bo Bichette having to field it on the outfield grass, yet still having enough time to beat Dan to the plate by multiple feet. But it's not just home he gets thrown out at. No, here's two separate times he's gotten hosed at second, both on balls that went off some part of the fence. First by Austin Slater versus the Giants in 2021, then on this missile by Joey Weimer this season versus the Brewers. You can tell Vogue was none too happy with himself or his legs after that play. And lastly, let's end this vid with six separate ground balls that 99% of players would have been safe on, but not our lord and savior, Danny Burgers. First, here's a grounder to the first baseman back in 2019 that Tyler White hesitated on, then still had enough time to get him. How about a ground out to the outfield grass versus the cards during the pandemic? That's about as close as you can get to grounding out to left field, if your name isn't Sean Casey. Here he is getting thrown out from literally right field, and it wasn't even close. I'll bet you he's thinking his lucky stars there's no shift anymore. What's that you say? A third straight outfield grass ground out, this time to short, with a bobble mixed in there? Yep, versus the Reds this year. And lastly, watch him get sniped at first, despite third baseman Jimer Candelario losing this grounder, then having to take a second to find it. That's a slowness you can't even be angry at. It's almost impressive at a certain point, you know? 